Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali, if you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. If you are new here, my name is Ali. I upload three videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So for today's video, you guys, I have this easy, colorful, but wearable summertime makeup look. I mean, summer, right now when I'm filming this, it's the 19th or the 18th. The official first day of summer is June 21st. And so for me right now, it's right around the corner when you're watching this, summer has just freshly started. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy this makeup look. And if you'd like to see just how we got it, then keep on watching. All right, you guys, so starting off with primer, we're gonna go in with this first A to Beauty Coconut Skin Primer. I absolutely love this. It's really hydrating and adds a nice subtle glow to the skin. And with brows, we're taking this Tristique Brow Pencil in Gel. It's all in one, and this one's in the shade Mo Mocha. Now this has the gel on one end and the pencil on the other end, and the pencil is more of a definer tip than it is like a precise pencil. But it is a really good product, and I actually really like it for filling in the brows. I feel like it does a great job, and it matches my dark brown brows perfectly. To clean up the brows, we're going to go ahead and take this Dose of Colors Concealer and my Flat Alamod Cosmetics brush and the concealer is in the shade Light Medium. Once brows are done, we are going to go ahead and prime the, prime the lids with the CoverGirl Lid Lock Primer and this stuff is absolutely amazing. Eyeshadow, we're going in with the OPV Beauty London Spotlight Eyeshadow Palette. I did receive this in my BoxyCharm for June, I believe, and this palette is absolutely stunning. I'm going to go ahead and take this shade Glimmer, and we're just going to go ahead and start building this up in our crease, and I do go ahead and go back and forth and just make sure its opaqueness is to my liking. Next, gonna go ahead and take the shade of Public Eye and just start deepening up right in the crease just a little bit with that and the outer edges because I do plan on doing a halo eye. Kind of felt like Public Eye was not deep enough on its own to deepen up the crease. So what I did was I mixed a, mixed a little bit of Dazzle Night with Public Eye and started putting that on the outer edges and into the crease and this deepened it up just enough. So for the center, I am going to go ahead and take the shade Limelight and it's just this soft blue color, almost white but kind of blue, perfect in between and I did start packing that on with the brush and then I would go in and blend the edges out and then I started packing it on with my finger because the brush by itself was just not enough for me. Going in with the lashes, I am going to try this Luna Magic Vava Pink Lash Primer. I'm not really somebody who uses lash primers, but I did get it in my boxy charm, so I was like, eh, why not? Let's try it out. And honestly, I didn't really feel like it did a difference. So for actual mascara, I'm taking the Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara by Maybelline. And like I said, I don't really feel like it did much extra. So for our foundation, I'm going to take the Maybelline Fit Me foundation, and I have that in the shade 228. I used to be the shade 220 in this foundation, so that is a big shade jump. But yeah, I'm taking the shade 228, and I am going to go ahead and take two coats of this just to build it up to my liking. And I absolutely love this foundation, you guys. Even if you're dry skin, try it, because it's not drying on the skin. It just dries to a more matte finish, so oily, dry, I believe anybody can use this. To conceal the face, I'm taking my Dose of Colors concealer in light medium and we're just going to hit 
you know, the usual spots under the eyes, down the nose, in the middle of the forehead, and on my chin. And then it lets lift the face by highlighting those smile lines right there. Some cream contouring. I am going to go ahead and go in with my Milk Makeup Matte cream bronzing stick and this one is just in the shade of fake and I'm taking this Lloris um, brush that I really really like because it really helps sculpt out the face. Cream blush, I'm taking this Milani cream blush in the shade Coral Crush and I just felt this blended or matched perfectly with the crease and I really like how you can blend this out and build it up to your liking if you want it really sheer or super opaque you can do that. And for liquid highlighter I'm taking this Tarte Shape Tape Glow Stick. Now they say that this is for underneath your eyes to make your under eye glowy but I really feel like it does a great job at cream or liquid highlighting. Okay, and for setting powder, I'm taking the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder, and I believe I have mine in the shade Light. I absolutely love this powder, and every time I use it, I forget why I would even stop using it. It's such a good, beautiful powder. It sets it down, and it kind of gives you more of a satin finish to your face, because it's not super glowy, but it's not super mattifying. It's just such a great powder. And kind of blend in that... Um, lashes with my natural lashes. I'm gonna go ahead and do that with this tint eyeliner in the shade black and then for my waterline I'm gonna go ahead and take this pastel dreams auto eyeliner in the blue shade can't remember the name right now and we're just gonna go ahead and tight line I mean put that in the waterline lower lash line we're going back in with the shade glimmer and we're just going to buff that onto the lower lash line and we're going to kind of blow that shade out going in a little bit more precise i'm taking the shade dazzle night and we're going to put that more so on the outer edges of the lower lash line and for our lower lashes, we're going in with this Lunar Magic Lash Primer again, as well as just going to be using the Maybelline Sky High Mascara once again for the lower lashes as well. So to set our gels down, I'm going to use that same Tristique brow pencil that has the gel on the other end, and this is just what we're using. I will admit this gel brow brush is kind of messy. Now just to make sure that my bronzer lasts, I'm going in with the BH Cosmetics BFF palette and I'm mixing the two bronzing shades in this palette and we're just going to kind of bronze, not so much co contour. This process is only to add color back to the face from all the setting powder. I'm taking the Glowing in Grease palette and I thought I was going to take Mykonos but I decided to take Santorini for my blush and we're just going to go ahead and build that up and I feel like that shade Santorini matched perfectly with my eyeshadow look. And for highlighter on the face I'm taking the shade Athens and we're just going to highlight all the usual places with that our corner we're taking the shade Milos on a really precise crease brush and putting that on the inner corner. To line the lips I'm taking this Dominique Cosmetics lip liner in the shade Crush and we're just going to fill in and line the lips with this. For lipstick I'm taking this Kylie Jenner Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the shade Dazzle and we're just going to fill in the lips completely with this shade. home stretch and to just make sure everything lasts all day I'm going in with the last little bit of my Milani make it last setting spray just to make sure everything stays in place in this Texas heat all right you guys that is it for this makeup look I hope that you guys enjoyed this if you haven't already please go ahead and give me a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.